everybody, it's Mel here and welcome back once again to the channel. Sorry for a bit of the boring background today, but it's just easier when it's a really good day like today. It's nice and bright. I can just sit right in front of my window and film without setting lights up. So the background might be a bit dull, but it's just a bit of an easier setup. So today is the very first episode of the Countdown to 30 challenge where I try something new every week for 52 weeks until my 30th birthday. If you have any other suggestions of things that I should try or that you'd like to see during the series, do go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you wanna follow along, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little notification bell beside it too so you get notified when I upload. And if you give this series a thumbs up, it lets me know if you guys are enjoying it, digging this kind of thing, uh, it really, really helps me out. So this week, the first thing that I tried, I went pretty easy on myself. Um, I'd never tried weaving before and it's something that I've always been interested in. Like uh, I'm quite a crafty person. If you follow me on Instagram, which is just Pebbles and Peach, you'll see that I do like um, crocheting and embroideries and sew things and just, I kind of like to do a little bit of everything. Um, I think it's quite fun to learn uh, new hobbies and crafts and stuff like that. So I went with some of my family members and my friends to a crafting class by Little Tangle. It was in the Boom Studios and we had like a really, really good day. It was such a fun morning and it was mine and my cousin's birthdays the day before the class. It was like a nice little birthday treat for the both of us. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some footage of the class and what we did and what we got up to and I'll be back at the end to show you how it turned out. Bearing in mind, this was my first ever weaving class. I hadn't done it before. The problem that I had during this class was I just took my sweet time and like was really, really enjoying it at the beginning and didn't realize that time was running on. Like anyone who's crafty or does art or anything like that, you'll know that the time literally flies in. So please don't laugh at like how terrible this turns out. I swear it's just because I was rushing. So this is the end result of my <laughs> class. Like you can see, look, it started out so nice down here and here and then this is where things just started to go horribly wrong whenever I was running out of time. Like all these I thought turned out pretty well. So, I mean, I guess it could have been worse for like my first ever project or class like this. So since I did it, like I actually found a real love for it and I was up at Ikea one day and I found a loom there and it's, or like, it's a pretty decent loom. Like they're normally really expensive. I found them on Amazon for like 30 quid around the same size. And this one was in the kids section of Ikea and it was only like 15 pounds. I'll link it down below. There's no affiliate link or anything like that. It'll just be a straight link to Ikea and you can check it out to see which one I got. So since that happened and I was like, oh, that was a disaster, but like, I know I can do better. I have started to do one. Now this project's not finished, but I'll show you it. So it's a significant amount bigger, but you can see there already, it looks like a bazillion times better than what I did at the other class. So this is sort of the bottom of it. And then I'm just kind of figuring out what little detail in I want. You can move these about and around and whatever. So yeah, this is the initial one and this is this one. So it's a good bit bigger, but obviously I enjoyed it so much that yeah, I've decided to try and do a little bit more. So thank you so much, first of all, to Little Tangle for doing the class. Check her out on Instagram or Facebook. Like 
She is so, so talented and the stuff she does is amazing. And I'm sure you can check out where she's doing more classes and things like that. I would highly, highly recommend them because it was such a good little group of people and such a great atmosphere. And my family and my friends and I all really, really, really enjoyed the class. So I would highly recommend going to something like that, trying it out and getting stuck in. And um, like, you will just have the best time whether you go on your own or go with a group of people. Like, it's just one of those little places where you mingle and just really really enjoy it so thank you so so much for watching i really really enjoyed this as my first little challenge in the countdown to 30 um like i said if you have any more suggestions or if you have any hobbies and crafts that you enjoy tell me about them in the the comments section and we'll get a bit of a conversation going and like i said don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're digging this kind of content thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next upload bye i'll raise a glass to you and you'll raise a glass to me